your stepmom thinks you're having a sexual relationship with your dad, are you? Absolutely not. And the fact that she's even saying this sickens me. It sickens me. This woman needs help. She has always been jealous of me and my dad's relationship because she didn't have a father. When I look at my dad, I don't see my dad. I see my best friend. He is Any my... Any chance that he's the father of your son? Absolutely not. I a 100% not. Absolutely not. Do you know not. who the father of your child is? I have a pretty good idea who my... Son's my father. Son, my son's father is. And he's being dna today as well. And what's his name? Glenwood. And what's your relationship like with Glenwood? It wasn't really a relationship. It was kind of like a gist. He was staying at my house with me. One thing led to another, and I got pregnant. Knowing that John does have some doubts, has he ever you know, crossed the line because you might not be his daughter? Has no. he ever acted inappropriate no. with you? No, my dad has never came off weird or any, any type of sexual or liking matter other than my father. If this DNA comes out that I am your daughter, you need to stand up to your wife. I don't deserve this. Right. Your wife is sitting here ruining my life, and you're halfway condoning it. You're when, not... when your wife accused you of sleeping with your daughter, what was your reaction? Insanity. Insanity. Put her in a loony bin. Your wife says that she stripped down in front of you, sat on your lap it's never happened. underwear and bra. Again, and all I that. don't care what my wife thinks. But and did no, she I've see never that? acted inappropriately. No. Maybe in her head she's seen it. Who knows what goes on in that twisted mind of hers? You took a DNA test whether Hazel is your biological daughter, and the results of that DNA test, John, is you are Hazel's father. <laughs> oh my God. Glenwood. That's his test right here. And the results of that DNA test, Hazel, is that Glenwood is the father of your son. I told you. I told you. I told everyone. I told everyone. I knew it. I knew it in my heart. I knew it. I knew it. See? There you go, there you go baby. Uh, Hazel, you came here and took a lie detector test. Um, and we asked you, did you ever allow John to see you naked as a teenager? You answered no. You did not tell the truth. What? Did you ever have sexual contact with John? You answered no. You did not tell the truth. This is what? This is set up. This what? is set up. I did not ever do nothing with my dad. This is set up. What kind of is this? Yeah, bro. What I'm kind of is all will, this audience will be looking at me charges. some type of way? This ain't true. Have this you? is not true, Steve. What kind of is this? What kind of is this? You tell I me. swear to God on my son. I don't really necessarily blame you. I blame him. How is it his fault? How is it his fault? Well, my dad loves me. This is dad. Well, Why would I? If he said, if he's I having know. sexual. No, they're having not going to get content. me to stand up and if, act like you. No, I don't give a this all this Phil, whole show is for having sexual contact with your father. As long as you guys can sleep at night. I guess we're, I guess we're dirty, nasty Very well. Good. Steve, I'm sure you guess will. Steve, guess what? Guess what? And I... So what? So what? Guess oh, what? yeah, because that's what we do, yeah, right? I, I don't give a said he's going to sleep very well tonight. Absolutely, because now... Because I, I you, you, you just and let me know, know I got a child. <laughs> sure that my son is safe um, I believe that they had an incestual relationship and you her and her, your her son. and her father 
Oh, her and her father. Her and her father. Now, I've never accused her of doing anything with my son, but I believe my son witnessed them doing something, and I was afraid they were teaching him that it was okay and letting him watch or something because he started exposing himself at school shortly after. Yeah, it's a little unusual. Yes, it um, is. What did you see that made you think that she was having uh Well, what piqued my curiosity was I was leaving. I saw her dad coming up as I was leaving. So I made the block a few times, came back, went inside real quick, didn't even turn off the truck, just ran inside to see if I'd catch him. And uh, I went in, and sure enough, she was coming from the bathroom. And he was standing there with his back to me. And when he turned, he had an erection. She signed a confession. And she oh, yeah, she signed the, like you yes, said, an affidavit. Did. And my wife showed it to me. Mm -hmm. I kind of glanced at it. I didn't pay particular attention mm -hmm. to it. What did the statement say? Well, it was basically that she had uh, improper uh, relationships with a family member and that she would seek counseling, um, pay $200 a month in child support. Did she, sign that statement? Did she sign that statement under duress? No. Absolutely not. Go ahead, try me. Let's, Just try me. Let's not touch each other, okay? Exactly. You know, Thank you. Back up. You disgust me. I caught you with your dad. You know I did. I didn't force no, you to you sign that piece of paper. Me, you dad. did. Now you're no, here you trying didn't. to get everybody on. Oh, poor me, poor me. Screw you that. Took you're away from me, Derek. You told me you were only going to That's be because when he was with months. you, he was exposing himself in school, and he had well, to go to a counselor. Well, he is with you now, too. That's right, but he doesn't expose himself. Who has legal custody of the child? Neither one of us. Right now, I do. She signed an affidavit and had it up. Another so, affidavit? You damn right. That one was only... Why would you sign... Now, this is limited power of attorney for child care. You signed over um, child care rights to Derek. Why, that why was would you... only to let him get him in school because he told me that the yeah, school... Yeah, but needed... now he, t he takes your son. He moves far away, right? And you haven't seen your son in five months. It's really hard on me. I miss him so bad. Is this your only child? Yes. Peggy came here, and she took uh, a lie detector test. We broke it down in two parts. One, the molesting of your child, and the second one, uh, whether you have an incestuous relationship with your father. And we asked you, did you ever have any sexual physical contact with your son? You answered no. Did your son ever have any sexual physical contact with you? You answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and they came back that Peggy told the truth. Yeah. Then Peggy went on, and we asked her about the incest. And we asked her, did you have any sexual physical contact with your father? She answered no. Did you ever have sexual intercourse with your father? She answered no. Did you engage in any sexual activity, contact, or intercourse with your father, with your son present? She answered no. Well, those are very specific questions, yes. right? She answered no to all those questions. The results came back all the same, and they came back that Peggy told the truth. <laughs> what you did was wrong because you took your son away no, what I did was based on what she had done. And her you forced and her. To, no, I did forced her. No, I didn't. You wrote out a statement and you forced her to sign it. Asked her if she wanted to sign it to get no. this done. Nobody no. normal acts like this, okay? No. <laughs> uh, I'm not saying you're a bad guy. No, but I'm you're, not. You're taking it out on her for no, whatever I'm reason not, you are. No, I'm not, dude. I didn't but pull you, this out of the air. Listen, you, you know what? Like, all you read the paper every day now, right? All these women are standing up to guys that have sexually harassed them, sexually abused them, did all kind of bad things. Now they're feeling power, they're coming out and saying, hey, you know what, you're not gonna do this to me anymore. Well, that's what you need to do now. You need to say, I'm not gonna let you do this to me anymore. Now that you know that this is not true, mm -hmm. I would love to be a part of our son's life. How about standing up and fighting as hard as you can for him? Uh -huh. You know what? That. You that. know what? What I said earlier, you are a bad guy. You're a bad guy because you are keeping your son away from his mother. Lord you Lord. are depriving your child of his mother for no reason at all. No. Only the fact that you're a psycho. That's no. it. And with that, <laughs> off my stuff.
I was raped. My name is Steve Wilkos, and I'm an investigative talk show host with a law enforcement background. It was my life or his. My job is to get truth and justice for everyday people. Watch our videos now.